Hello everyone, I'm Mari Pangestu, Managing Director for Development Policy and Partnerships uh, at the World Bank. Welcome to the course uh, on investing in quality infrastructure for a green, resilient uh, and inclusive recovery. This course explores how investing in quality infrastructure can help countries lay the foundation for development. The course comes at a time when crises from COVID-19 to climate change have starkly exposed the interdependence between people, the planet, and the economy. We risk a lost decade of development if we ignore these interlinkages and continue to pursue activities in a business as usual manner without addressing existing structural weaknesses or the climate crisis. For example, increased poverty tends to lead to greater environmental degradation. Greater environmental degra degradation results in slower economic growth over time, leading to greater poverty and inequality. Climate change also increases poverty and inequality as vulnerable countries and vulnerable and poor people in countries are less able to protect themselves from climate shocks. In fact, our poverty assessment estimates that 130 million more people will enter into extreme poverty by 2030 in the business as usual scenario. That is why a green, resilient and inclusive development or GRID for short is essential. The approach promotes economic growth that goes hand in hand with inclusion and environmental goals. What is new is the explicit recognition of the interlinkages between poverty, inequality and environmental exter externalities. In order to achieve GRID, investments in five key systems will be crucial as they contribute to 90% of greenhouse gas emissions and are also key for adaptation and, re and resilience as well as development. The five key systems are energy, transportation, urban infrastructure, agriculture and land use and the manufacturing sector. Investments in sustainable infrastructure in these five key systems is therefore crucial. In making these investment decisions, it is important to consider the climate and development dim dimensions simultaneously. This could mean considering the social aspects for just transition to low carbon uh, energy infrastructure, picking technical solutions that avoid future stranded assets, or ensuring inclusiveness in providing basic services. Emerging markets and developing economies were already facing a structural slowdown in investments before the COVID-19 pandemic. In order to address the climate crisis and development challenges that have been accentuated by COVID-19, transformative investments in the five key systems, including within that sustainable and quality infrastructure, will be needed urgently and at scale. What needs to be done? Countries need to be clear on their long-term low carbon development strategies and the policies and reforms and institutional strengthening that underpin the transformations in the five key systems. They also need to allocate domestic resources, including optimizing domestic resource mobilization through more efficient taxation, carbon pricing, such as repurposing fuel, subs fuel and fertilizer subsidies, and better develop local and capital financial markets. In addition, greater international support from development banks and donors will be required, particularly in low-income countries. However, for the scale of investments needed, private sector finance and expertise to provide investment and services will be needed. Stronger governance of infrastructure sectors, public investment management, and enhanced capacity will ensure that these investments are made in the right projects and undertaken efficiently. The Quality Infrastructure Investment QII, principles approved by the G20 in 2019 provide a framework for approaching infrastructure investments in line with GRID. The principles include maximizing the positive impact of infrastructure, raising economic efficiency in view of life cycle costs, integrating environmental and social considerations, building resilience against natural disasters, and strengthening infrastructure governance so that resources are used wisely and, delivered expect, and deliver expected benefits. Quality infrastructure investments can accelerate digital development, expand basic services, improve regional supply chains, make green investments and green transformations of the economy, reduce social inequality, and develop policies that catalyze job creation in growth sectors. Countries can achieve a more prosperous 
and stable future by investing now to build an economic system focused on green, resilient, and inclusive recovery and growth. This course is financed by the Quality Infrastructure Investment Partnership established by the World Bank Group and the Government of Japan to raise awareness and uh, scale up attention to the quality dimensions of infrastructure in developing countries. So whether you're a policymaker, infrastructure specialist, financier, academic, member of civil society, a student of sustainable development, or just concerned about how infrastructure can build a better future, I hope the lessons that this course provides will help you shape infrastructure that promotes a greener, more resilient and inclusive future. Enjoy the course.